Yes, there's plenty going on in this little old world of ours. Let's see what's cooking. Here comes a bit of news. A hurricane put the electric power plant out of business at Amesbury, Massachusetts. That put Farmer Woodson's electric milking machine on the blink. He called for help, and Fire Chief George McDougall and his men came a-running. The fire department milked the 50 cows by hand. And that's what I call pulling together, boys. Listen, shh, fellas and girls, here's a little secret. It's just between you and me and the ticker. The war department built this one out. John, suppose you were here in London. And Jane, suppose you were here in Florida, about 4,000 miles apart. And you want to get hitched. The war department says you can stay right where you are and get yourselves married in Tulsa, Oklahoma, by mail. And it's simple, too. John writes an I do letter to Oklahoma. Jane does the same. And Oklahoma says, I pronounce you man and wife. The only thing left is the distance between you and Jane. The war department hasn't any idea what to do about that. But cheer up, kids. We'll have television soon. Calling all fishermen? Yep, you fellas with your rods and reels. The Wildlife Service at Washington, D.C. is a coming out with a new radar gadget. This doohickey will locate schools of fish, tell you which way they're going, and let you know their exact size. Here's a very, very sad piece of news. A gasoline truck pulled up to Walter Sacchieri Station in Detroit. The driver connected the hose and pumped gas into the pipe, but the gasoline gauge set empty. Now let's take a look under the sidewalk. This is the station's gas tank, and this is where the gas went, right into the sewer. 864 gallons of good gas Right into, well, let's draw a curtain over this sad episode. Next time you go to New Jersey, in the neighborhood of West Orange, look up a fellow named Coughing Arslanian. He's a Yale graduate. Don't know the exact address, but he lives among the branches of a giant oak tree. His home has a floor and a ceiling, but his wife couldn't get used to no walls. So she left, and our friend, is still up a tree. Sub out your pinup girls. Well, fellers, here's a gal and what a gal. Just listen to this. She's a volunteer, 25 years old, worth seven million dollars. And what a scrapper. She was in the sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. Got herself badly injured, too. Spent a year getting over that. Then she did her stuff at Normandy on D-Day. And again at Cherbourg. She's got plenty of service ribbons and the Purple Heart. Who is she? The battleship Nevada. What a gal, what a gal. How's your memory? Who said these words? We can, we will, we must. Yes, FDR, you said it.